You're perhaps wondering how this teacher got started at the beginning of the school year. Let's look at the same children on October 1st, four months earlier than the session you've just seen. All right, let's start off with a problem such as nine plus six. Okay. Raise your hand if you have a way to get this answer by thinking about it. Good, lots of hands are up. All right, Chris, I think I saw your hand first. All right, this is how I think about it. I think as if nine were a 10 and the six were a five. Okay, and what would your answer be? 15. Okay, how many of you agree with that? Does anyone disagree? No? Marie? six plus six because he knew six plus six was twelve and then added three back onto twelve and twelve and three. Good. That's a good way. Children remember doubles such as five plus five and six plus six more easily than combinations like four plus three. Brent used the double he knew to figure out what he didn't know. Children also tried to make ten and Chris changed the problem to 10 plus 5. They thus go from single digit addition to double digits while thinking about a 10. The teacher went on to double digit addition. Suppose we have 13 plus 13. What's the best way to get this answer? All right, Jared. I put the two tens and put them together, and I made 20, and then the two threes together, and those made six, and I added 26. Oh, well, that was the same way I did it. So how you did it? Like, like, one, if there's like a 10, and you have a 1 the rest of the way, all the way to um, 20, and mm -hmm. 19, and uh, it's the way you do it. Did anyone today, it looks like a lot of you changed your mind. Did anyone think of this as being 1 plus 1 today? No. no. Joe, did you? Okay, is this a 1 and a 1? No. It's a 10. I couldn't trick you today. All right, I have one that we've never tried before. Put it on your thinking caps. Now let's see what happens when we do one like this. Let's see who can be the first. 17 plus 13. I already have hands up. Brent? 30. 30? Agree. 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 Does anyone disagree? 
Okay, who would like to explain it? Uh, Alright, carry me in. I just did um, 10, and that was funny, and I knew that 7 and 3 was um, 10. That's all the other way I did it. That's all the other way I did it. That's all the way I did it. That's all the way I did it. Alright, Brent, how do you do it? Um, Shh, listen to me. I counted those ones as 10s, and then I knew that 7 and 3 was another 10, so 20, and then count that is another 10 that's 30. All right, very good. I have one more for you to try that we haven't done yet. You did very well on that one. 26 and 5. Already? My goodness, you're fast today. Chee haw. 30. Right. Joe, would you like to tell us what you got? I have more agreements for you. Um, I took the one off the um I mean I took the one off the um six. Not the six. And then okay. that was five and then I mean five and five was um thirty and then I mean Six and the five together, and that, I knew that was 11. So I put the 11 onto the 20, and, I, um, and then I knew it was 31. 31. All right, Chris. This is how I did it. I took the one off the 26. Okay, I'm going to change that. So what did that make that? 25. Okay. And then I put 25 and 5 together, and it made 30. Then with that extra one, I put it on, and then it made 31. Okay, very good. Chris, you know that's about how I did it, too. If you take what you already know, if you know 25 and 5 is 30, then just put the other one back on. That's a very quick way. Chris, do you have a different way? I knew that 26 plus 4 was 30, and add one more to the 4, and then it's 31. Good, so if you know 26 and 4 would be 30, just add one more to it and you've got 31. We've just seen four different ways of solving this problem. Joe added 5 and 5 to make 10, while Gary added 6 and 5. The first Chris changed the problem to 25 plus 5 plus 1, but the other Chris changed it to 26 plus 4 plus 1. Children's creativity is boundless. These children are inventive in part because they've never had any worksheets or drill in first grade arithmetic. They are excited by their own inventions and are proud to show them off. Teachers who allow children to exercise their own creativity marvel at the variety of unexpected ideas children come up with. Piaget's theory makes us focus on children's own natural ability to think and to create arithmetic. What you've just seen reflects an attempt to develop this ability in double column addition. Application of the theory here suggests that much more can be learned from children in constructing the next level of our knowledge about how children reinvent arithmetic. Jared? 64. Three. Three. Jared, can you explain how you got 64? Just knew it. Just knew it? I didn't know it. 